Hello, Diana Teeters here. I'm in Sony Vegas Pro 8, and today I'm going to show you how to create a really nice wedding intro using Wedding Essentials Volume 3 from Digital Hotcakes. So let's start by bringing in some media. Now, I've created a folder and I've copied these files from the DVDs of Digital Hotcakes, which is one step that you'll have to do. So let's go in there and uh, select these clips, shift click and open. And what we're going to want to do is set the alpha channel on the overlay tracks. The reveal gold sparks is an overlay. So we'll want to right click and go to properties and go down and set it to straight unmatted. We'll do the same for Rose Petals Wipe. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have the Rose Petals Wipe first. It, the petals are going to blow off and the rings are going to appear and then uh, the reveal sparks are going to reveal a title to the wedding video. So the first layer you're going to want to drop in is the rose petals white. We'll put that on track one. And the very next layer that's going to be underneath that will be the reveal sparks. And we're going to put that on the next track just left of that. Now, the next layer we actually need to go create, and that's going to be a title. So let's use the Okay, where is it? Um, media generator. And we'll go into text. And we'll just use the default. We'll just use this. Drag, drag it down to the next layer here. And now the properties palette comes up. Let's, um, let's select a nice font for weddings. I have one on, on my machine that I really like, Zapfino One, and we will call this, click in here, and I'm just going to put our wedding. Of course, you can put whatever you want. I don't need that. And we're going to want to move this down. For I'm going to go ahead and close this out. We'll adjust that later. Um, let's go back to the media manager, project media, I'm sorry, and drag down the rings, which is what we're going to want on the very bottom. Now, if you take your scrubber and go across here, you'll see that our wedding is up here, and I think it would look better if it was in the lower third of the clip. So in order to do that, we'll click on the track and go into track motion and click drag the center and it will drag our wedding down and to the left a little bit. Say right there and we'll close that. I also think that this needs to be a little bit bigger now that I see it on the ring. So let's go ahead and Go back into by clicking on generate media and we'll increase the size and I'm going to take the bold off and we also need a drop shadow on this so that's in the effects we'll click that and I say that looks pretty good I think we still yet need to move that a little bit. So I'm going to go back in the track and just move that down and over to the left to get those letters away from the ring. Okay. Okay. So now we have all the pieces we need. There's one. There's another thing that we need to move. If you look in where the reveals sparks are, they're in the center and we, we put them there just to, you know, to have them somewhere. And, 
obviously in most video editing, you can move a clip. So again, we're going to go up to this track and we're going to go into the track motion and we're going to move those sparks down. If you left click the center, you have control where these, these go and we're going to put them right over the title. Okay. There's one more trick to this effect. We need the our wedding title to uh, come in and appear when the sparks do. So in order to do that, we simply are going to put a transition on the, on the title track. So I selected the title track and then I'm going to come up here and click on transitions. Now the one that I know I need is in the linear wipe. So let's select linear wipe and it's going to be the left to right soft edge. So let's go ahead and left click on that and we're going to drag it down to the bottom corner of this clip and let go. Now we don't need to make any adjustments. This actually works just as it is. So we're going to close this. Now let's go to the beginning and see how this all looks. We'll hit the play button. And voila, there's a great intro to a wedding video. Appreciate you watching the video. Stay tuned for more.